Hello and welcome to my drone video channel. After two weeks of blizzards and sub-zero temperatures, I thought, you know, th this day uh, when we finally got up to uh, 32 degrees or zero C, I'd uh, with light winds, I'd come out to uh, Geneva State Park Marina and uh, shoot a little bit of uh, uh, video showing the uh, frozen Lake Erie, the frozen marina, and some uh, general views. You see a sign here right in front of you, caution, ice may not be, or may be unsafe, but uh, uh, at this point, it's the, at least the ice in the marina itself is uh, fairly uh, stable and probably would support even, uh, you know, somebody of a pretty good size to walk out there, and I suspect there will be ice fishermen. Now, it's a, a you know, even though it's uh, only 32 degrees, I didn't expect to see anybody uh, coming by walking uh, or taking a walk. I'm not sure if this guy was a, a park uh, official or anything like that, but he just appeared to be on his way for a walk. So we, we take off here. We're going over the uh, guard railings, and we're going now out over the ice covering the uh, marina. And uh, these particular berths that were coming up on the slips for the boats are for the uh, higher end uh, boats, the larger, more expensive boats. And you see they have uh, satellite dish receiver antennas on most of them so that the, uh, the uh, people who, who park there can uh, have all the uh, amenities that they're uh, used to. You see the, uh, the ice is, is uh, thick and, and solid, uh, no blue areas shown. And here comes a flock of Canadian geese, which totally surprised me. I had half a mind to go up uh, after them, but uh, decided against it as they turned and, and uh, went to the east. After they uh, departed from the uh, area, you can just see them leaving there. I continued out here, and we're heading now through the area that forms a channel that leads out to uh, Lake Erie from the marina. And uh, you can see, you know, it looks like cracks in the ice, but... Um, those th those are, are solids. You could walk on this area with no problem. Um, on the right side, you see uh, a uh, lighthouse, which I've shot before. Uh, you look back in my video list, you'll see videos uh, taken with my spark during a gale of that uh, particular uh, lighthouse. And on the uh, left side is a, is a weather station that transmits uh, uh, weather data to uh, craft that are out there. We're coming up on a pressure ridge here where ice builds up right at the mouth of uh, the, the lake and the uh, marina, the channel of the marina. And, uh, you know, the, the, the lake uh, bottom and uh, sand and all that stuff gets washed up underneath this. And so every year they have to dredge this, this area out to make the channel deep enough for boats to get out into the lake. And uh, I usually shoot that video uh, once a year. So we were at about 25 feet uh, altitude going all the way out there and decided to climb up to about 100 feet. And you see some um, open uh, water and some ice in the distance, uh, some blue ice uh, patches right in front of you. Uh, never uh, walk uh, on any areas where it's blue ice. Uh, it's uh, not safe. Um, I've been living around the lake uh, pretty much all my life and have walked out in the lake many times, but uh, you always avoid blue ice. Um, and uh, now we're turning more towards the west. Um, you should be able to see the 600-foot very nuclear power plant towers out there, but the visibility was down to about three miles. In front of us is uh, Geneva State Park Breakwaters Beach area, about a mile-long beach which is really crowded with sunbathers during the summer, but uh, no sunbathers out today, folks. Uh, here we're uh, hovering out over Lake Erie, and we're facing back towards the uh, marina, and it looks cold and desolate, and it sure is cold and desolate. Continuing uh, our pan here, and um, uh, we're looking now towards the area that would be uh, Geneva uh, Lodge and Recreation Area. Uh, that is, um, even though it's still open, it's not very well populated. And w way out at the far distant point you see out there, that's uh, Ashtabula, Ohio. I'm continuing to rotate now, and we get back towards looking to the north and seeing uh, some open water, some blue ice. 
uh, some floating ice and at this point my fingers were sufficiently cold that I thought it was uh, time for me to uh, start thinking about coming in. So from uh, an altitude of about 100 feet we're going to drop down to about 40 feet uh, in altitude and start making our way back and see a little pathway on the left there that uh, is the path that I that you walk to take out to uh, get out to the uh, lighthouse and I uh, walked along that uh, last year uh, there's video in my video list to see that we're heading back now uh, in through the uh, channel inlet and uh, we're going to make a turn and make a, a run over um, and past some of the uh, slips the boat slips where the the uh, boats are normally parked during uh, the season this this marina holds uh, over 300 uh, craft during the uh, season and uh, it's usually uh, full by the end of May uh, or the first uh, week in uh, June and you can see all the hookups and satellite dishes um, and the commissary store there in, in the distance um, you know all this stuff of course is, is closed down now for the winter uh, there's a you can see me there standing behind my car but before I land I decided to uh, take a quick uh, run over here past the um, boat launch uh, ramps and uh, this is the uh, natural wetlands uh, protected wildlife area that's right in front of us and again I have uh, videos of this area when it was uh, <laughs> considerably less uh, cold and much better weather that are further back in my uh, video list if you're interested in seeing those but as you see now it's just totally covered with ice and snow and um, there's still a lot of uh, snow here this was area was plowed many times you see me standing there with a 250 foot cell tower right behind me but thankfully my uh, my Phantom 3 Advance was uh, uh, didn't seem to be uh, phased by the uh, by the presence of that uh, powerful cell tower there so we're um, going to come in here and, and get ready and try and find a, a uh, uh, an even place to land uh, it's pretty tough because there's lots of ruts from occasional traffic going through here like myself but I, I found an area where you know it was fairly smooth so I'm going to be landing there but um, thanks for uh, watching this uh, little eight minute video Hope you enjoyed uh, some of the views here. See what it's like uh, out here in the frozen uh, northeastern Ohio. Um, leave a comment. Uh, thumbs up if you feel like it. And uh, look back through my video list. There may be other videos. We're going to try and get something up once a week uh, as long as the weather is uh, allows it. So thanks for stopping by. Stop back again. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.